Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem starting in chapter 11. In this chapter, we talk about angular momentum. As you can see, for this system, initially we have the merry-go-round. The angular velocity is given. Radius is given. We can get from diameters, right? And also the momentum of inertia is given. And we know there are four persons, and each person's mass is given. And they suddenly step onto the edge of merry-go-round, as to the final angular velocity. For this problem, we can see, um. There no external force act on this system, so that means the no torque on this system. The angular momentum is conserved, right? So initial angular momentum equal to final angular momentum. Now we look at the initial angular momentum. The I naught is given, omega naught is given, and then look at the final angular momentum. The I final momentum of inertia should include two part. First the part merry go round. And then the per four person, right? So we can say four person. So there times four. The mass r square because they suddenly step on the edge of the merry-go-round. So this is radius. Now we input the i inside. We get this uh, equation. Solve this equation. We get the function for the final angular velocity. This one input the known quantities. Get the final answer. Thank you.